dear students i am sure you all must be preparing really well for your english online assessment let me share with you all some tips for preparation of your english online assessment and some points that you must keep in mind while attempting the english paper english can never be crammed it is a skill that you have to polish with constant practice read write revise grammatical concepts learn new words converse in english and most importantly stay consistent so let me share with you some very important points manage your time so that you are able to practice all the four sections literature grammar reading and writing for literature you must read all the chapters thoroughly and must know the names of the poets or authors for your respective chapters go through all the textbook questions you must be clear about the story line of all the chapters do not mug up word meanings you must know the meanings of the words with context to the chapter but there is no need to cram them up watch videos shared by your teacher for literature based chapters you must be thorough with all the characters theme title message etc for your respective chapters or poems for grammar practice as many worksheets as you can for all the grammar topics you can get it checked by your parents or you can even approach your respective teachers for doing the same you can watch videos based on your grammar topics in order to clarify any doubt related to any topic you can attempt or go through exercises given in your english practice book for more practice for practice of integrated grammar that is jumbled sentences and editing you can use worksheets or links shared by your teacher for writing skills revise the format of all the writing skills topics thoroughly go through the value points shared by your teacher so that you do not make any mistake while attempting a writing skills question You must practice at least two writing skills questions per topic by attempting the same in your rough notebook. If you have a doubt, you can share it or discuss it with your parents or teachers. For reading comprehension, practice passages as well as poems given by your teacher. Do not ignore reading section. Attempt questions properly by writing answers in your rough notebook as practice. You must practice at least three passages as well as poem based comprehension. You should know that synonyms are same words and antonyms are opposites in case asked in comprehension. In case of objective paper read the options carefully before clicking on the answer an objective paper is a very scoring one that is why being thorough with grammatical concepts and reading all literature chapters is important in case of subjective paper never copy questions in the answer sheet make sure you number your answers correctly as given in the question paper leave a line after every answer for better presentation answer what is asked do not add anything extra strictly follow the word limit given be very cautious if any optional questions are given do not attempt all it will waste your time be it objective or subjective paper attempt all questions go through the english paper blueprint and attempt the sample paper ask your parents friends teachers for any kind of help or guidance be mindful of spellings punctuation marks and overall presentation 
while attempting the subjective paper do not copy the same lines as given in the comprehension passage or poem modify or change as per the question polish your verb forms and tenses rules so that you do not make any grammatical errors writing skills questions are based on units of english reader hence reader related themes should be polished poetic devices figures of speech like simile metaphor alliteration personification imagery hyperbole onomatopoeia rhyme scheme or repetition should be clear to you all make sure to revise both your objective as well as subjective paper as you might miss a question two marks questions to be written in 30 to 40 words refrain from writing long answers point to point and quality content matters for objective paper dear students be very careful of the option you select for each question as you can attempt the paper only once for subjective paper use black or blue pen not any colorful pens and do revise after attempt do not forget to submit your objective paper and for subjective one make sure to submit proper pdf i would suggest you to take guidance from your teachers or parents in case you do not know how to create a pdf stay calm do not panic be prepared in advance if you face a technical glitch contact your teacher immediately focus on all the four sections manage your time so as to practice all the four sections do not take any section for granted communicate whatever is there in your heart your teachers and parents are always there to guide you always give your best dear students come what may strive hard to become the best version of yourself with this i wish you all the best for your english examination In fact good luck to you all for all your online assessments it is your first time but i am sure you are going to give your best god bless you